Hello everyone. In my previous video, we have discussed about the two basic forms of a linear equation and how do we solve them. We have also seen how do we verify our solution. So in this particular video, we will be dealing with more complex linear equations and we will see how do we reduce this complex linear equations to the two to any one of those two basic forms which we have learned earlier. Okay, so let us take an example. Let us say we have six x plus one whole upon three plus one is equal to x minus three by six. Now let me just quickly put it down here what are the two basic forms which we had learned in the previous video we have seen that there are two basic forms one was like this in which there was a linear expression on one side of equality only and the other side is a constant and the second form which we have learned something like this in which we have a linear expression on the on both the sides of the equality and we know how do we solve them. But here this linear equation is little complex and we will try to reduce it to the to any one of these forms. So what do we do here? The first thing is to make the denominator same. So here the denominator is 3. We try to make the same denominator for 1. So we multiply 1 by 3 and also divide it by 3. Now we take the LCM, so the LCM is 3 and in the numerator from the first term we are getting 6x plus 1 and from the second term we are getting a 3. Okay, the right hand side is x minus 3 whole upon 6. Now let us combine the constants. So when you combine 1 and 3 we get 6x plus 4 upon 3 is equal to x minus 3 over 6. Now we want to find the value of x. So what do we want? We want to get rid of the 3 in the denominator first. So what do we do? We multiply by 3. If we are multiplying the left hand side by 3, we also have to multiply the right hand side by 3. The law of balancing. So here 3 and 3 cancels out the common factor. And what are we left with? We are left with 6x plus 4 is equal to now let us cut out the common factors 3 1s are 3 2s are so we are left with x minus 3 over 2. Okay now what do we do? We want to get rid of this 2 from the right hand side so we multiply the right hand side by 2 and we do the same thing on the left hand side. So what does this gives us? 2 into bracket 6x plus 4 is equal to x minus 3. 2 and 2 cancels out. Okay, so we have reached this basic form where there is a linear expression, a simple linear expression on right hand side and on left, left hand side of the equality. Now we can solve it. We can distribute 2 to both the terms in the bracket. 2 into 6x gives you a 12x plus 2 into 4 gives you an 8 is equal to x minus 3. Bring all the like terms with x on one side, the constant on the other side. So 12x, when x is transposed to LHS, it becomes negative x. We have a negative 3 on the right hand side and when 8 is transposed, it becomes negative 8. So we get 11x is equal to negative 11. Okay, now we will divide both the sides by 11 to get the value of x. So we get x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have seen how we have to perform the operation to reduce this complex equation to our basic form. I hope this much is clear to everyone. Let us consider one more example. Let us take a word problem this time. Okay, so the question, let me just write the question here. Present ages of Anu and Raj are in the ratio 4 is to 5. 8 years from now, the 
the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. The question is to find their present ages. Present age means the current age. What is their present age? Okay. It is assumed that by now you, you know what ratios are. Okay. We read ratios in grade 6 and 7. So everyone must be clear what ratios are. So now since the ratio of their present ages is 4 is to 5, we say that the that Anu's present age, let it be 4x and Raj's present age will be then, since they are in the ratio 4 is to 5, it becomes 5x. After 8 years, what happens? Anu will become 8 years elder, 4x plus 8 and even Raj's age will be 5x plus 8. And 8 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. This means that Anu's age after 5 year, 8 years divided by Raj's age after 8 years is nothing but 5 by 6. This is not any of the basic forms which we have learnt. Okay, so we will try to reduce this equation to the basic form and then solve it. So we have 4x plus 8 upon 5x plus 8 is equal to 5 over 6. We want to get rid of this denominator first. So we will multiply by its reciprocal. So 4x plus 8 we will multiply by 5x plus 8 on the left hand side and the same thing needs to be done on the right hand side the law of balancing. This cancels out. So we are left with 4x plus 8 is equal to 5 by 6 into 5x. So 5 by 6 will be distributed to 5x and 8. So we'll get 5 by 6 into 5x plus 5 by 6 into 8. So this gives 4x plus 8 is equal to 25 by 6x plus 40 by 6. So now this looks in the basic form too, a linear expression, a linear expression, a simple linear expression on both the sides of the equality. So let us just solve it. We bring all the terms with the, uh, the like terms to one side of the equality. This means that we are transposing 25 by 6 to the left hand side and we will transpose 8 to the right hand side. So when we transpose 25 by 6 x becomes negative 40 by 6 and when positive 8 is transposed to the right hand side it becomes negative 8. Now what we have to do? We have to try to make the denominator same. So we multiply and divide by 6. We multiply and divide by 6. 6 is our common denominator. So our LCM is 6. 24x minus 25x is equal to 40 minus 8 into 6. 48 which gives us negative x upon 6 is equal to negative 8 upon 6. Now we want the value of x so we want to get rid of negative 1 by 6 negative x by 6 can be written as negative 1 by 6 x is equal to negative 8 by 6 so we have to multiply this term by the reciprocal of negative 1 by 6 which is 6 by negative 1 and here also we have 6 by negative 1 now let us see let us cancel out the common factor so this 6 and 6 goes off minus and minus cancels off to become positive this minus and minus becomes positive. 6 and 6 go off. So what are we left with? We are left with x as 8. Okay. So we have obtained our solution as x is equal to 8. Now what is the question which they had asked? They had asked Anu's age and they have asked Raj's age. So Anu's age will it was we have taken as 4x. Raj's age we had taken as 5x. So 4 into this 8 will become 32 and Raj will be 40 years old. Okay, so I hope it is understood. How do we go ahead and reduce a complex linear equation to a simpler form? You can practice more questions with such linear equations. In case if you have any doubts, you can drop me a message and I can help you with that. If you have liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.